The mobile phone has revolutionized the way we communicate. It has forever changed how, when, and where we connect with people. In developing countries, the most profound long-term socioeconomic benefit may well be its effect on banking, health care, and education. Mobile education is the ability to access educational material from a mobile device anywhere at any time. On the one hand, you have education. I think all of us understand that. On the other hand, we have the mobile platform, the thing that powers the mobile networks. How do we use that platform to accelerate the penetration of education? So for instance, today it's estimated about 150 million kids worldwide don't have access to education. And secondly, to improve the quality of education by using mobile phones. Mobile education has the potential to provide more equitable access to education in countries and areas where resources and infrastructure are poor. I quote this young Kenyan woman, a very smart lady called Junaranga, and she was asked what she thought would transform the world and transform Africa in particular. And she just put her hand in her pocket and pulled out her mobile phone. Um, I'm a passionate believer that this is the technology that's going to transform the lives or have the potential of transforming the lives for, for the billions of people that uh, are disadvantaged in the world. And the principal vehicle for changing things long term is, has to be through education. And suddenly the phone can provide access to people that would not be able to travel or be able to afford proper education. And obviously you've got to get the, um, the content out there and get people connected. But that is happening um, faster in the developing world than anywhere else and there are big commercial incentives for getting those two billion people hooked up. Today we have 90 million students enrolled in higher education. By 2025 it's estimated that that number is going to go up to 150 million. The fact of the matter is that we don't have enough teachers, we don't have enough schools to accommodate that growth. The potential of the mobile platform to help train more people, educate more people, uh, create more literacy globally is just starting. And that's the great potential. It's just starting and once it gets going, the economic benefits, the jobs and the social benefits are going to be great. The potential is there, but we need governments, teachers and the private sector to work together. We need M-Learning projects and applications to be customized and to scale, and the information communication and technology industry has to take a more active role in the success of M-Learning. There's a ton of great stuff out there, um, but it's still not that easy to, to find if, you know, if you're in a remote place and, and you don't really know where to look. So um, for a couple of years we've been working on a project called the toolbox.org and one of its purposes is to be a sort of an app store, but with a specific focus on um, things that might improve the world in one way or another. So it would include uh, moving money around, education, health care, uh, activism, and try and uh, also allow for the sort of formation of ecosystems around issues. Today, we know that 80% of the world has access to a mobile phone. If we can marry that mobile phone access to educational access, imagine the possibilities of improving people's lives.